Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. If you just watched my recent head shave using Mitchell's Wheel Fat again with the same razor and the Simpsons Chubby 2 that caused me all that grief in my last head shave on, on my channel, excuse me, you'll know that it wasn't Mitchell's Wheel Fat, it wasn't the razor and it wasn't the brush, it was actually the blade. Well, I believe it's the blade. Gillette Super Thin from Thailand. I actually like them, they're very sharp. They're not rough just very thin blades and a very sharp edge so it's obviously too much if you're using a wide wide blade gap maybe just a milder blade gap it might work nicer and yeah we'll leave it at that the soap for today i haven't used on my face yet and it is from bignoli galeati that's the lid for it the scent on it is licorizia imenta it's a ponificio bignoli carlo galeati Italy, um, the Italian flag here, made in Italy, and there is your list of ingredients. If you want to pause that and zoom in and have a look, I'll put it a little bit closer for you. Reasonably clean. I don't think it's as clean as most, but it's reasonably clean. I'm not sure, I, I think this might be an artisan, but I'm not 100% sure. The scent on it is licorice, and you get a little bit of mintiness to it. Just through it, it's a really nice scent. I do like licorice to eat. I do like it, actually quite like it to shave with. I do still have my Sterling Black Ice. Is it Black Ice? I can't remember now, that's terrible. Right, I'm using this brush again. I've just used it for my head shave, then I'm going to give it a really good dry out, a clean and a dry out. Simpsons Chubby 2, the Simpsons Shedder. This thing is shedding like crazy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some cream on my hand on my finger that's way too much but I don't really care oh, let me put some moisture on my face there I've got less than 24 hours growth as well I think so I'm a glutton for punishment Jesus this is enough cream to do your face 50 times Do not use this much soap when you shave. Jesus. So this is pretty much the amount that Don Younger would use over at Wet the Face. It's a deep That's a beautiful scent. I haven't used it on my face yet, so I haven't actually had the scent right on my nose, but once you actually get it out of that tub, it really opens up. You get that licorice and mint. Really nice. It's actually quite cooling. Now, I can't find menthol on the ingredients list. I don't think it actually has menthol on it. Aqua, stearic acid, myristic acid, potassium hydroxide, coconut acid, triethylamine, sodium hydroxide, perfume, fragrance, glycerin, oritsa, sativa, ran oil, mercistyl, lactate, sodium phytate, limonene, citra, and linalol. So there's no, that I can see. Any hairs came out already? Nope. Two more came out when I was I washed the brush and dried it a little bit. Just before the shave. I don't know whether that's advisable, but that's what I did. That's all I'm doing yet. Painting the brush over all the cream that I've just put on my face. There we go. Hair number one. Can we see that? There we go. Just here. Definitely feels to me like there's a bit of menthol in here. Look, there's another. It's just it's shedding like mad. Now Stu Simpson did get in touch with me, sent me through some information about these brushes and that they do shed. Not all of them shed, but some do shed. When they do shed, you need to really persevere. Look, there's another one. Just is it normal to shed this much? That's my question. I would say no. Now, I'm not going to lather for too long today because I don't want to get brush burn again.
One, two, three. One, two, three. Definitely feels like it's mental, isn't it? Right, there's just fucking Jesus Christ, look. There's another two. One there, one there. I'm only painting at the moment, I'm not even freaking doing anything with the brush. Right, the razor. It's going to be the start razor again. I just used this on my head shave and it was incredible. It is a phenomenal little razor and I've got, hopefully that'll zoom in there, there we go, 0 0.069 blade gap. Very, very mild light. You barely feel anything happening. I'm going to use the exact same blade that I just used on my head, which was the Gillette Nasset stainless. So it's done one shave, head shave, so it's had a bit of work. I'll just chuck it after this because I've got loads of them. And here we go with the grain. Definitely still one of my favourite blades. Now this lather is quite light, it's really light. I was expecting it to be a little bit. Sticking in between the blade, that's for sure. I don't know whether you can see that right there. Well, you can see it just on this side. That focused almost perfectly straight away, but I'm just going to continue on. Now, I wasn't going to shave my face today, and to be honest, I wasn't going to shave my head either. Sort of stuff it. I'm definitely hearing and feeling this cutting today, which is a bit different. So you can just see it again. It's just catching the lather, which would suggest to me that it's not hydrated enough, but it feels. It was very light and very hydrated, so what may be happening is because I put so much cream on my face in the beginning, it's maybe actually picking up on the, the unladdered cream on my face. There might be just some floating about. I'm just going to rinse some really hot water over this. As you can see, I'll just fill the sink up at the same time, let's not wait to waste water. Nice and clear. So that's all that was needed. I'm just going to get my hand in the water. Well, the residual sleekness is excellent. It's really good. Now, it could be the mint. I can't smell menthol. I can normally smell it. My skin's really cold, which would normally suggest to me that there's menthol in here. But I do know that mint, you know, spearmint, peppermint and things can make an impact on the coolness of stuff on your skin. Yeah, there's another one. Look. 
I mean, that's got to be close to 30 hairs between my head shave and my face shave, maybe more. I might actually watch these videos back and tally it up. It's not right, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's right. I think generally if you're going to lose your head shave, your brush is going to shed a few hairs in the beginning, you'll shed a couple per shave. You shouldn't be shedding between 10 and 30 hairs per shave. Now I know this between, I would say between 15 and 30,000 hairs in this brush. But if you lose 20 hairs, just say there's 20,000 hairs, you lose 20 hairs. Per shave. You're depleting that pretty quickly, really. You, know, you take 2,000 hairs out of this brush with a hundred shaves it's ten percent less hairs than what started with which is pretty average now there's another three there's the third one there uh, honestly I don't think I'm being rough with it I don't think I'm doing anything any different to this brush than I would any other brush and I look after my gear. If you watch my, I've watched my channel for the last three years. Maybe in the beginning it was all new to me, but I'm very pedantic in polishing my razors, drying my brushes, making sure they're aired, making sure they're dry before I use them again. This razor blade comb looks really nice. So much so, that's against the grain, I didn't feel anything. So is that. Not feeling anything. Definitely, hundred percent. This could be a daily driver for anyone. It's, some people don't like a mild razor at all, no matter whether it's daily or whenever. It's very, very mild. It's not like a little bit mild. It's, it's extremely mild. I would say it's milder than the double A plate on the car, that's how mild it is. It's milder than the 1904 or the 1903 from Merca. So I haven't splayed the brush there. All I've done is just paint, 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 paint. Like that, I haven't done anything. I mean, that's not even a long hair, that's, that's splitting off halfway down. Now, it's not right. Yeah, I don't care who you are, that's not right. Not for a 200 plus dollar brush. I think it's about $250 worth of brush there in Australia.
very slick. I'm going to touch it around my lips. Super, super slick. Thing I'm noticing straight away is the post shave isn't quite up to Mitchell's wool fat standards. It's nice, it's a nice post shave, but it's not it's not up with Mitchell's wool fat, and really that's the soap that sets the standard for me now. I can't believe after so many years in the shaving game, especially on the channel. So all I've done is rinse the brush out there in the water. So I squeezed all the excess out, rinsed it again. I've just shook it twice so you can see the knots away over the sides. I've just shook it. I don't know if you can see there. One. One there. Two there. So that's another two gone just in this shave alone. There's still a bit of soap inside the brush so I'm just going to work with it just a little bit more. It's definitely menthol in this soap, I'd be amazed if there isn't. It's not in the ingredients list, which is surprising. So I'm just really giving it a good flick and it just pulls all that excess moisture at the bottom. Look, once again, look. You see that one just yet? You need it. There's another one. It just is shedding here like mad. I know Simpson are trying to help me out and trying to give me a bit of. You know, trying to make me feel a bit better about it, and it might actually get better, but is it really? <laughs> I mean, I had the amount of hairs that was dropping get less and less each time, but it started off with 20 to 30 the first time and then got to. Right. Straight away. And then it got to like 22, and then 18, then 14, then 9, then, and it was getting less and less, but it's not, it's getting worse and worse. It's actually shedding more here now than it was in the beginning, to be honest. Now, normally, I would look, if I was a person in the company, I would point my finger and say, well, you're the one that's got it, you're not looking after it, but I've been doing this channel now for over three years. I've got over 900 videos. I've probably used over 50 to 100 brushes. I've had three brushes shed on me in that whole time. One was a Samog Owners Club, which got replaced by Samog. The other one was a Morrison Fondren, which ended up sending on to someone else. And they were actually going to re-knot it for me if I paid for the shipping. And that was from Lee. Lee Sabini was going to re-knot that for me. But it was the same again. It was such a good knot. I didn't want to just send it back here then. Look, look, they're just another one. I'm just slightly just rubbing my fingers over it. Just pulling it from side to side and look. I mean now there's not much happening. And it'd be interesting to see the fact that I'll just lightly just pinch there. See I would expect if the knot's falling apart. Oh look there's one there just come out. 
that one was sitting there. I'm not pulling this hard, I'm not pinching hard. And people will be saying, don't, don't fucking do that. Sterling Simpson's probably doing the same. But I'm just lightly, just pinching the tips. So that was just one hair that came out there. By the looks of things, there's nothing else coming out. Oh, wait a minute. There is. I don't know. It's quite frustrating. Such a beautiful little brush. I really like the brush. Ah, oh, well. Right, the soap was Saponificio Vignole Galeati Licorizia e Menta. Licorice and mint, mint, I think it is, I think it's menthol, I think it's mint, menta is mint, I think. Yeah, look, the poche is nice. The Mitchell's Real Fat Poche is far superior. But it's nice, it's moisturised, I don't feel like I have to use something else after it, even though I do eventually. I am going to pop some of this Codex Skin Food, Skin Superfood on. But yeah, really happy with that. The brush. Look, I'm happy with the brush. The brush works beautifully. It's such a nice knot. It's lovely face feel, head feel, everything. It's got everything I want in a brush, to be honest with you. It does it better than every other natural hair brush I've used. And it competes with my synthetics, to be honest. I get an enjoyment out of a natural hair brush that I don't get from a synthetic. A sort of... It's a triumph when you get a great lather from one. I haven't had a bad lather from this brush. Not one. But, look, there, I've just moved that a little bit. Another one. And that's not even a full length hair. There's no way that, that hair is sitting all the way inside the base. So they're either snapping off at the bottom for some reason. I now don't tell me why that is. I would. I mean, obviously you could look at maybe moulding the base of the knot, but when this knot's wet and as it's drying, if you take a real good smell of it, I know it's had soap and everything in it. I would expect to smell mould. Mould's quite a horrible smell. I would expect to smell something from it, but I don't. I just get fresh, clean smell. I don't get anything else from it. When it's dry, it smells absolutely lovely as well. There's nothing that makes me think that there'll be mould down the base. Whether there is or not, I don't know. The razor today it was the start razor, the 0.69 blade gap, second use Gillette Nasse, and wow, what a shave. What a cracking two shaves, really. A BBS head shave with no irritation and no cuts and nicks of blood. And very, very close face shave on less than 24 hours growth with really very minimal anything, irritation or redness. I'm really happy. And other than that, stay safe, drive safe. Don't in fact, you know what? I'm going to pop this on while I'm on camera. Skin Superfood from Codex. You pop the lid off and it comes out like that. So that's the bottle normally sits like that on the counter, but you squirt it out with a little squirt of your head, like so. And I'll put it on my right hand. Two squirts for the head, just dot it about a little bit, and there we go. I think it's got the scent on here, let me have a look. Maybe not. It obviously does have a creamy scent to it, the actual cream cream. But It's got a bit of a citrus woodsy vibe as well. I sort of look at this stuff a little bit like kombucha for the skin. Full of natural healthy stuff, stuff that's good for you, stuff that, that shouldn't really irritate your skin, it shouldn't cause you any issues, it shouldn't give you any spots. Uh, over greasing your skin or anything, you use a very small amount. It absorbs very quick, you can see how quickly that's absorbed. And one thing I like about this Codex product that I, that I have actually noticed, now when I use poche balms and poche splashes and things on my head, not so much on my face, just my head, it tends to very quickly get oily and greasy and it feels like, like I need to actually, believe it or not, I'll come in from work sometimes and I'll use a towel and I'll wipe my whole head with a towel just to get the grease off before I go to bed. 
it's not that I'm smelly or sweaty or anything, it's just like a grease film. I don't get it with this superfood. It dries in, it leaves a silky smooth feeling, and then it stays like that. I don't get any any extra oiliness or any greasiness that comes on my head. Now one thing it does do, which you can't see right now, but it does, five, ten minutes time I get a bit of a shine on my head. I don't mind that. Shiny skin looks healthy to me, it doesn't look sweaty or greasy to me, I just like it. My wife doesn't, but I do. It does give you a nice nice shine on the head. On the face it doesn't, for some reason. Obviously it absorbs differently, I'm not 100% sure, but it does make your skin feel great. And I'll feel moisturised now for the whole day right through till tomorrow. It makes your skin feel amazing, these products. They really do, they're pretty good. Expensive, but good. And other than that, stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.